Hi, this is Dr. Jenny Mitchell and I want to take a minute to show you how to do some uh, analysis of survey data. Uh, what I have here, if I've gone to the health IT dashboard where I have a, uh, they have all kinds of data sets that you can download and use. Now this is the survey that's done for the National Electronic Health Records Survey uh, and you'll notice it's uh, office-based physicians. It was done for between 2008 and 2017 and the file itself, I can download it, it's a CSV um, file and what they have here with the information uh, the CSV is a file we're going to use but what they have for information in that file is this explains the header row like for example in a survey you might have survey questions um, re related to that um, for example this this one right here is a response to this question when electronically receiving information from other providers are you able to integrate the following types of patient health information into your EHR without special effort like manual entry or scanning so this was the question that was answered uh, and then this is basically the header role and let me explain a little bit what I mean by header rows so I'm going to actually open this CSV file so that you can see it. So on your screen here is a CSV file here and these are the headers. Okay, this is how the data comes in uh, and you'll notice that uh, they've got numbers here which happen to be usually percentages uh, that are related to that. We're over in column D so let me move over so you can see we've got the region codes and so on. And it, this is a fairly robust file. There's like 369 rows of data so it's a fairly robust uh, file. So I've already downloaded this and I have it saved in my um, in my folder and so but what you would do if you were doing this yourself you would just go to CSV and it would download the file for you and you tell normally it goes into your download file but I save mine off then to a specific location and then I'm going to go into my office.com. I went to office.com and signed in using my uh, St. Mary of the Woods credentials. I have all of these things ahead of me. You may, yours might look a little different depending on what you've had open, but then I'm going to click on Power BI. When I open my Power BI, um, my Power BI has a lot of uh, things in it, so you're going to see some different things here, but I'm going to show you my workspace. <clears throat> workspace has my dashboards, reports, workbooks, and data sets. So if I click on data sets, uh, what you'll see here is that I have uh, you know a lot of different files in here and I actually have already loaded this file up here but if I wanted to load it I would just click on right down here where it says get data and hopefully this is um, yeah I think we can see it fine I'm gonna pull it out here so it's as big as possible um, and yet you can still see it hopefully uh, maybe I need to move it over a little bit. Yeah, so you can probably see this now, get data. I'm going to click on the get data. And uh, you'll notice here I've got lots of places I can get the data. I can pull it in from almost anything, including Epic and some of these other places, the databases, SQL servers, whatever you might have uh, for your organization. But I'm going to click on files because that's where I've got this. Here's my local file. And then this is the actual CSV. I did actually save it as an Excel file. You can see this is Excel, but the uh, this is the you know the CSV file. I'm going to click that and say open. And it's going to ask me if I want to replace it because I've already gone through this once just to make sure I got it up here. But if I go here to my data sets right here, the NEHRS 2008 to 2017 is the file that I used and what you'll notice here is I can make a report from this I can refresh it schedule a refresh that would be like if you're hooked in with live data and then I'm going to click on this more options these three little ellipses get you more options and I want to show you something it's called get quick insights so I'm going to click on quick insights and it'll basically what happens is Power BI is going to look for 
uh, relationships between this data. Uh, so you're going to see that uh, we've got some correlations. Uh, we have some uh, trends that are showing here. We have, uh, you know, talking about Illinois, there's quite a bit, a few things that are talking about as far as Illinois, more correlations uh, happening. And anytime you want to look at what this means, you can always look at this, uh, learn more, because what it does is to, in Quick Insights, it does correlations, it does um, time series, it does majority, it finds trends, all kinds of things. So really and truly, uh, this makes it pretty handy and I want you to notice this was not rocket scientry that we <laughs> used here to get to this to actually do look at some of the insights related to uh, this data. So I wanted you to be aware that it is possible to if you do some kind of survey d data to actually build a report and a dashboard. Um, you'll notice it's got little pins on it like here in the save. Well, I can actually pin that and I can put it to a new dashboard that I call uh, Survey uh, Electronic Health Record uh, Dashboard. And I can say pin. And essentially what it's done now, it is uh, pinned it. And I actually, even with this Power BI, we can create a phone view or we can go right directly to that dashboard now and you'll see here that I've got a dashboard on there and I can go back to my uh, workspace and and back into that view insights and pin as many of those as I want or I could create new ones like um, in in my workspace here I've got some dashboards created here that um, you know that you might want to see just a, an example of the type of dashboard that I can create and what's really neat is that these are uh, interactive they've got built-in slicers so when I click on a, a piece of the dashboard it relates directly to what I was uh, looking at this age group of 30 plus as an example on here so just so you realize that uh, Power BI is available to you as a student it is a product that's used for uh, reviewing and, and analyzing big data and it's really fairly easy to, to use. So I wanted you to be aware that this was available. So thanks for listening.